Today we're going to look at how to fix the problem of formatting a quote mark when it occurs before a dropped capital letter by using a nested style. A drop cap or dropped capital letter is found at the beginning of a block of text such as the beginning of a book, chapter or article. Although InDesign has controls for setting drop caps within the normal paragraph settings, you will, as always, be much better off using a style to apply your formatting. In this case, the style settings for drop caps are found in the paragraph style options under drop caps and nested styles. From here, you have a few basic options to control the size of your drop cap by specifying the number of lines it will take and also if you want to affect more characters than just the first. There are also a couple of toggles to adjust position and the ability to apply a character style to allow for things like a different font for the drop cap and so on. So with these options, InDesign provides a fair amount of control over formatting a drop cap. But what happens if the first sentence is the beginning of a quote? Because the type engine doesn't distinguish a quote mark from any other character, you get this result. So how do we deal with this? Depending on job requirements and style guides, one simple solution is to just leave off the opening quote mark, which is nice and clean and, arguably, the best solution. But let's assume you don't have that option. If we go back into the paragraph style options, we can use the characters setting to increase the number of characters affected, so that the first letter is once again a drop cap, but, well, that's hardly an ideal solution. The method we're going to use to deal with this actually employs the next section of the drop caps and nested styles options, the nested styles part. Leaving the first two characters targeted by the drop cap settings, we're going to create a new nested style, shockingly by hitting the new nested style button. A nested style enables you to conditionally apply a secondary character style to the beginning of each paragraph, which affects the text until a certain break condition is met, which you can specify. In this example, we are going to apply the style to only the first character in the paragraph. But first, let's create our character style to be applied, which you can also do from the nested styles options. Now the quickest way to fix the obnoxiously large quote mark is to just go into the basic character formats and change the text to superscript. The up to and through options specify how the character style should be applied. Up to won't apply the style to whatever property is specified, just to whatever comes before it whereas through includes the property as well. But as you can see, this still looks a little screwy with the alignment. The simplest fix is to head to the story panel. If you don't have it open, and let's face it, most people don't keep it around by default, then you can find it in the window menu under the type and table submenu. Make sure you have your text frame selected and from the story panel, just turn on the optical margin alignment option. Optical margin alignment will push all punctuation marks on the edges of the text frame outside of the normal frame boundaries. While frankly I prefer this setting, if this isn't what you want for your text, then you'll need to do some more tweaking of your drop cap styles. The key thing to remember is that now that you have the opening character targeted using a nested style, you'll need to make any adjustments to the nested character style itself, not to your paragraph style. Instead of using the superscript option, you can go in and adjust font sizing manually if you prefer, or if your font requires it. If you need to then change the vertical position, and you likely will, you can do this by applying baseline shift to get whatever position you need. And also tighten up the tracking to close the horizontal spacing. There's no hard and fast way to format a dropped quote mark. It depends largely on the font you're using. But once you've targeted it with a nested character style, you've got a huge range of options. So yeah, that's one way of dealing with a quote mark on a drop cap. Hope it was useful for you. If you've got another method, feel free to throw it down there in the comments so we can all learn. And thanks for watching.